Distrust towards digital currency is growing following the downfall of MineCoin, a Hong Kong-based Bitcoin exchange. The company has filed bankruptcy and gone down in flames like a sinking ship, taking what was originally thought to be almost $390 million of its investors' money with it. The issue came to light last Friday when about 30 people claiming to be victims of MyCoin's actions went to a member of the Legislative Council, Leung Yun Chung, for legal help. The victims are slated to give their testimony to Hong Kong police in the coming days. According to the South China Morning Post, as many as 3,000 people may have fallen victim to what is now being labeled as the latest Bitcoin Ponzi scheme. Customers who were reportedly fed empty promises of fast earnings and lavish gifts if they were able to recruit more investors. One of the alleged victims, surnamed Chan, has thus far only managed to reclaim about 1.2 million Hong Kong dollars from the original three HK dollars she invested. Chan went so far as to mortgage her home to keep her investment plans flowing. Following the disaster, Hong Kong Central Bank has issued a warning to all future Bitcoin investors, saying... Such investments may involve fraud or pyramid schemes. Given the highly speculative nature of Bitcoin, we have all along urged the public to exercise extra caution when considering making transactions or investments with Bitcoin. We would like to remind members of the public to stay vigilant and guard against unscrupulous practices when participating in any investment plan regardless of whether the products are Bitcoin or any type of financial or non-financial assets. The Hong Kong Criminal Crime Bureau has now stepped into the mix and it appears that the original estimate of $390 million in losses has fallen to about $8 million. Apparently, the $390 million figure was based on MyCoin's own estimates of its business volume. Regardless, Hong Kong lawmakers are now calling for a complete ban on Bitcoin in an attempt to steer people away from fraudulent activity and following central bank's warning to investors. Leung Yun Chung went further to say... The government should not just stand aside. It's simply not enough to just ask people to exercise caution when investing. It has to ban the circulation of such virtual currency in the market. It's been three weeks since the trial of Ross Ulbricht began, and today we know the outcome. It's guilty! The resulting revised version of the document, revealed just today, incorporates several previously announced changes. Many Reddit users are taking the news quite hard, particularly since Charles posted a screenshot of the project in its nearly completed phase only a few days before.